It's a very special day today. It's National Writing Day, which means it's the day to inspire people to get writing. I've pulled together some of my very top writing tips from the author's studio. If you've got a great tip, do share it with me. Find someone you trust who you can show your work to. Just write what you know. It's a, it's a cliched one, but it helps you write what you know. I think the most important aspect of approaching uh, writing anything is to plan out ahead of time what you're going to do. I spend eight months outlining each of my novels, and that's pretty much a full-time job. Uh, George Carroll Oates said, uh, if you don't know what the last sentence of your book is, you're not going to know what the first sentence is. My writing tip is that I only write when I feel it from the heart and the head. Um, I never have what they call writer's block. If I do, I immediately stop writing. The only writing tip I can ever give to anyone is to be, and it sounds very pompous, honest with themselves and not to think, uh, oh, so-and-so might like that or so-and-so would approve of that, but what does well inside your own gut, that's the way to follow. My one writing tip that counts above all others is finish it. And what you have to do is, I think, write six days a week and write a similar amount of words every day. Find something you're comfortable with. If you're in a full-time job, you've got kids at home, maybe you've only got half an hour you can make your me time, but in half an hour you can easily write 200, 250 words. I mean, Graham Greene is one of my favorite authors. He didn't write a lot. He wrote 352 words every day, and he'd stop at 352. Sometimes in the middle of a sentence, that actually is quite good because then you can easily get going again. Getting in that rhythm is so important. You can't write a few pages, go away for a week, 10 days, two weeks, come back, write a few more pages. You've got to get in that flow.